What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so... Yeah, last episode was a very eventful one. It was very eventful. Like, we literally destroyed a whole town. Look at this. Yeah. We did that. Yeah. We had to take a big dookie, and bam. We blew it all up. Anywho... So, in our last adventure, yes, we managed to do two things. Maybe even three. Uh, we managed to capture the legendary Pokemon, Evil Tall, called it Evil Bacon because it looks like three strips of bacon. Very evil bacon, by the way. <coughs> and then, uh, what else happened? Yes, we defeated Lissandre for the last time. And, uh, well, this happened right here. So, Team Flare is no more. For the time being, and now we can continue on our adventure through, I would have to say, Anastar City. Now, as you guys can see, we did make a switch into our Pokemon team, and that is that we are keeping Evil Bacon on our team, and we took Nova out. Suffice to say, yes, uh, Evil Bacon uh, made the cut mainly because, well, a good friend of ours. Uh, Nova, yeah, he, <laughs> he kept on getting his butt kicked. Don't worry, I found coverage for everything, and yes, I do know... That I do have two flying Pokemon, but technically speaking, the flying Pokemon that I have on my team, you know, Nacho, not being considered a flying type Pokemon. So, Evil Bacon <coughs> is going to be on the team just to show those snobby, uh, those snobby uh, aerial uh, fighters uh, a thing or two or whatever. So, anywho, here we are back into Anistar City. And we are going to be making our way right here, and we're going to be receiving a Holoclip uh, message. And would you look at that, it is Professor Sycamore himself. He's like, do you have a minute? I'd like to talk to you face-to-face. -face. Let's meet at Corway Town. Ah, okay. Whatever you say, homeboy. We shall do that. Right before we do something else right here. So, here we are. We're going to be going straight to this place. And, uh, well... Look at this. Route 18, Valet Etrote Way. Okay. So, this Valet Etrote Way says that the roads of rock and roads of steel, here we walk, happy feel. Okay, I thought we were going to battle this guy. And uh, it looks like we, we, we have a mission here. We're going to be capturing, or not capturing, but we're going to be battling some Pokemon trainers, uh, doing our thing, uh, showing off the legendary Pokemon that uh, thou shalt not speak his name and whatnot. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and do this. This guy right here has his short shorts on, saying that nobody can defeat him in all that crud. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and take on a Scolipede right here. This Pokemon's looking pretty mean, and here we are taking on using Evil Bacon. I know, guys. I know. It's a legendary Pokemon. But... <laughs> this was the whole plan all along. I wanted to use this guy. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Yes, it's because of this move right here, Oblivion Wing, that it just made it so sweet for me to just use this Pokemon. I've used it in previous games, walkthroughs, and or playthroughs, and all that stuff. And yeah, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna be using Evil Bacon because it is the firepower that we need, especially with you know. Nova not really doing much and all that crud. So here we go, Oblivion Wing yet again. I love this move. Look at this. Oh, yes. Draining its energy, making it look uh, very, very dumb. If you guys played the Pokemon trading card game around this time, Evil Bacon's card was, uh, was a pretty uh, hard Pokemon to defeat. And here it is learning foul play. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about. So it's a 95 physical attack. The user turns the target's power against it. The higher the target's attack, attack stat, the greater the power, the power's move. Now, this could be a good move for you, but I'm not. It's more of a gamble because depending on what Pokemon you're facing, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's something. Now, two of our Pokemon are growing levels, level 55 and level 56. Moko is learning Power Whip right here. Let's see. So Power Whip. Is a uh, let's see, very violent move. Whirls vines and tentacles harshly at the attacker. So for the time being, I'm gonna take away Rain Dance since I've already have Rain Dance uh, as a TM. I could always switch it out. So there we go, Power Whip for the win. And uh, Jaden has been defeated. It's a lot of kids being named Jaden and Jalen and all that stuff. I don't know. And uh, well, we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon right here. Let's see what it is all about. Look at this. 
We are taking on a Durant. And, well, Durant is... Durant is pretty much the the uh, the reason to why this whole road was uh, being blocked off because I guess they destroyed something. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. We got to cut this thing. Uh, let's see. Where does it lead to? To this person right here. So we're gonna be battling some Pokemon trainers and all that stuff. And uh, well, again, we're getting texted like nobody's business and all that stuff. And well, here we are taking on Justine, and she will be coming out with a Mind Shell. Look at this Pokemon right here. Looking pretty majestic here. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and use Evil Bacon's Oblivion Wing. And the Oblivion Wing. Hitting it. Oh, wow. We're going to get hit with this first. Holy crud. Okay. So, let's go, Evil Bacon. Do it. Oblivion Wing. Oh, man. I just love this move. And it, it's something that you guys didn't know. It does regenerate Evil Bacon. And uh, it regenerated very well. Oh, my God. It is like the ultimate move for this Pokemon, and oh man, I cannot believe I have Evil Tall right here. It is a pretty awesome Pokemon. Okay, so let us move on. There is an item right there. I believe it's, uh, I, I, I could, I, I do believe it's a TM or something. So let's go right ahead and go with Jordan the Goat and take on this guy right here. When it comes to climbing, you can ascend or descend, which do you prefer? Uh, I don't know. Descend, ascend, I don't know. It, it just depends. So here we are taking on Orestes. And he is coming out with his stunk fish. Oh my god. So let's go this guy, Jordan the Goat. And off screen, I did teach it a new move, and that is Surf. Mainly because, well, uh, our good old buddy, what's his face? Um, uh, yeah, Moko can't learn that move for some odd reason. And look at that. Jordan the Goat grows to level 58 and is learning Milk Drink. Wow, this is a new one. As you guys can see, it does heal a Pokemon. I don't necessarily need that right now because we do have Horn Leech and... Uh... Oh, crap. The go <laughs> okay, come on. No, I don't want to keep this. And then, yes, all right. So there's that. And, well, Orestes has been defeated. Okay, all righty. So, let's see. Before we go into this house, I'm going to... Stop real quick. I am getting another text messages. Uh, we, we should count how many text messages we're getting. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. And, well, we're going to be going into this house. Now, there is an individual here that does uh, inverse battles. If you guys don't know, it, inverse battles is basically, if uh, what was it called? It's battles where they use type advantages as disadvantages and vice versa and all that stuff. Let me tell you about my brother's mysterious power. With it, he can reverse Pokemon type matchups. It's really crazy. Normally, a Fire-type move would be super effective against a Grass-type Pokemon. But my old, but my brother's uh, Mysterious Power, it's the opposite. Fire-type moves become not very effective against Grass-type Pokemon. What are you waiting for? Get out there and try to use many super effective moves as you can. So, I got a bone to pick with you, homeboy. Oh, I wasn't expecting a visitor in a place like this. Hmm, you seem to be a pretty good trainer. Shall we get, uh, shall we have a rather strange Pokemon battle? I could. I call this an inverse battle. With my mysterious power, I will reverse type matchups for a while. Super effective moves will not be a very effective. Moves that are not very effective will be very effective. What do you think? Does it sound fun? You may understand it in theory, but when you try it, you'll find out it's more difficult than you thought. Would you care to try my inverse battle? Yes. Super effective moves will not be very effective, and moves that are not very effective are super effective. Okay, so here we are taking on three Pokemon, and this guy is going to be coming out with a Halucha. So, Halucha going up against Jordan the Goat right here. His flying type moves would not work against my Pokemon. Huh. But what about Strength? Strength is a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not very effective either way you look at it. So here we go. Strength attack. And, uh, well, let's see. What if we go with a Horn Leech attack right here? So, Flying Press. Both moves are not going to be super effective against us. So, here we go, Horn Leech. Yes, it becomes very effective. Alrighty. Okay, so we should have started off with that. Now, normal type Pokemon, I guess it's not considered as a normal type or something. 
But Star Fox finally grows to level 60, and here he's coming out with a Rhymperior. Rhymperior. So I'm guessing. Um, let's go with Star Fox right here. Fire type moves are not super effective against Rock type Pokemon. So, and then Ground type Pokemon as well. All right, so here we go, going up against a Rhymperior. Let's go with a Flamethrower. And yes, it is super effective. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> it looks like we're getting the hang of this. Yeah, if you guys don't know, in Pokemon X, he kind of beat me. Now he's coming out <coughs> with a Grumpig. What's not effective against a... Uh, what's not effective? Hmm. Let's see. Ghost. Huh. How about this? Let's go with Nacho Libre. Because fighting type Pokemon are not super effective against uh, psychic types. This 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 kind these kinds of battles makes you think. It really does. And uh Well, let's see. Let's go with a high jump kick. I even got a poison type move, which it's the same deal, and it looks like we have achieved our little goal right there. Holy crud, yes we do. Okay. Alrighty. So there you go. Yeah, I I didn't really have the best of luck in Pokemon X. So after defeating this guy, he says he'll understand inverse battles and he will give you a citrus berry. And the funny thing is that you can battle him every single day. Um, I tried to get my get back once, uh, well, a while back and didn't necessarily work. Now, here we are with the Terminus Cave and um, we're going to save that for the next episode, guys. But as you guys can see, we are going to be finding wild girders and all that stuff. And, uh, yes, I'm going to run away because I don't need any of these Pokemon attacking me right now. Okay, so, let's go right here. And, you know what, just to prevent any of these Pokemon from attacking us, let's go straight for a uh, Max Repel since we bought a buttload of them. And, uh, let's see, that one leads to the ledge that we should have been over. We will eventually get there at some point. As you guys can see, you're going to be finding some more Pokemon, uh, Pokemon trainers right here. If you do have a Pokemon with uh, Rock Smash, I do suggest using that. And, uh, well. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm late. I'm late. Oh, no. No. Watch out. Watch out. Huh. She's late for what? That's my question. So, here we are taking on Last Sarah, and she is coming out with her Gramble. And Jordan the Goat. You see, right now, as we're talking, my mind is still thinking, of like, yeah, we, we were still in inverse battles, but no, we are not. So, let's go with a Horn Leech attack right here. And that is not effective, huh? But we do, yeah, we still get some, uh, we still get a little bit of a, a, of a HP gain and all that stuff. And, well, let's finish this guy off with the Leaf Blade attack. And there you go, Gramble. Defeated. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. And here comes Dedenene. So let's go straight for Moko right here. Kind of want to try out some new moves. Want to defeat it. Dedenene is a fairy type Pokemon. I just realized that. Holy buckets. It is a fairy type Pokemon. So let's go with a Power Whip. See what that does. And that defeats Dedenene. It does it. Oh, yes. And, well, there you go. Moko grows a level 56, and everybody else is happy. Last Sarah is uh, <laughs> a little late to everything that she's doing right here. So, let us move on right here. And here we are, guys, in Kuwait Town. Now, we have to find Professor Birch or Professor Sycamore right here. We're going to... Yeah, we're definitely going to be looking for him. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Go with Evil Bacon first. I kind of want to show that Pokemon off. So where you find Professor Sycamore is going to be right here. Hello! And uh, here he is. He's going to be like, I have to apologize uh, to you about Lissandre. I'm very sorry for the trouble he's caused. And I'd also like to thank you. I'm sincerely grateful for what you did for all of the Pokemon in, the, in this world. And by stopping Team Flare, you also saved Lissandre. I always knew that he desired a beautiful world. And maybe someday the population of people in Pokemon will actually increase to where resources become very scarce. If someone acts out of greed in such a world, surely some will go without. 
If all living things keep acting that way, there will be nothing left in this world to end. Why, there won't be any, even any, uh, anything left to steal, will there? But what, I, but, I but what I really wanted was for him to put his ego aside and lead everything to greater heights. I never had this discussion with him, though. So I'm partially responsible for this. Yeah, I was gonna say, you didn't you uh, didn't you have the ability to just like tell him? I don't know. Well, enough of that, Draven. I want you and your Pokemon to take everything you've learned in your journey and hit me with their, your very best shots. So here it is, guys. We're gonna be battling Professor Sycamore yet again, and he will be having all three of the Kanto starters, and they're gonna be fully evolved right here. So here he comes out with a. Uh, a uh, Venusaur and of course evil bacon is looking like an evil bacon so let's go with oblivion wing yes I love this move evil bacon finish it and oh wow it almost finished it okay so here comes a pedal dance and that's gonna hit us pretty good so let's go ahead and try it again evil bacon let's go oblivion wing take the rest of his HP and just like that, Venusaur has been defeated. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Evil Bacon grows to level 52. And, well, the rest of the team is getting some points. Nacho Libre at level 59. And here we come with the Blastoise. So let's go right ahead and use Jordan the Goat. Ready to uh, kick some butt and take some names and do everything in between. Just like Michael Jordan, the real goat. So here we go. There's Blastoise. And let's go ahead and hit it with the Leaf Blade. It's a much more effective move, especially for a shelled Pokemon. And that right there finishes off Blastoise. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, well, Jordan the Goat grows to level 59. And who's next? Blade grows to level 57. And here comes Charizard. So, let's go right ahead and use Moko. See if, uh, you know, what it learned and all that stuff. What it learned uh, throughout its, uh, its, its brief time with us. It, it can it be put to good use right here. So, let's go right ahead. Let's use Thunderbolt Attack. And that will take Charizard by surprise. So, here comes a Flamethrower Attack. Not so effective. And let's get it. Muddy Water. For the win. Yes, putting this Charizard down. And, well, that is how you do things right there, guys. And Professor Shikamar defeated. He's like, you are really something. You and your Pokemon have developed strong bonds by spending together and caring about one another. That's why you and your Pokemon are so strong. Yes, I am very, very strong. Okay, so the strength you've found is simply marvelous, and you truly love and trust your Pokemon. Draven, a treasure, uh, a treasure of mine is hidden in this town. If you'd like, try to uh, try to find it. Well, I'll be off. Uh, I'll be off then. Uh, I have many preparations to, uh, I must attend to. I have a little surprise planned for all of you uh, uh, to thank you for fighting uh, Team Flare and saving Kalos. Ah, cool. But I I did most of the work and all that stuff. But whatever. Okay, whatever. Anywho, let's go ahead and sit down. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That is definitely my my uh, thumbnail for this one. So he has a, a a little surprise for us. We we need to find it, and it is going to be right up here next to the train station. And if you grab this, we found ourselves a rare candy, which we could have used for something else. I don't think it was the. I don't think it was that, huh? And we don't need a repel. Let's go ahead and talk to this lady. I have two of the TM U-turns. Here, I'll share one with you. And yes, we got ourselves the U-turn attack. This is a very powerful bug type move that, well, you know, can give you, a, well, a replacement Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, where is this gift that you are talking about? Let's go ahead and find it. Uh, device. Okay, not this guy. Maybe we already got it. Okay, changing our hairstyle. Yeah, we, we should have we should have done that a while back, but you know, your boy likes his hair long and uh let's see. Powerful moves, people okay, yeah. Okay, and then uh what about this lady? Uh abilities. Yeah, don't do that. How about the okay, so we're taking a visit of uh this place right here. 
And if we talk to her, I want to be loved. Do you have a Pokemon that uses Nuzzle? I do, but it's probably the PC. I love the ability uh, Warrior on TV. I wish the Pokemon's ability. Okay, not that. Talk to her. I wish I could have be. Never mind. Um, apparently, he loves his TV too much. Probably. I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Where is this gift? It's somewhere here. Talk to her uh, in an album. See the pictures. Uh, did a minute. Okay, not that. How about here? Let's go right ahead and talk to these people because there is a gift here. Which Pokemon did you pick as your first partner? Oh, really? A Finnegan? Then I guess uh, you can get the Finnegan quest. Uh, yes. Okay, so it is one foot four. No. Oh, so it is twenty pounds. All right, let's try this again. This, yes. Okay, so it is twenty pounds. And here's our reward. We get ourselves a charcoal. Now, she's gonna ask you the same questions, especially for you know the other legend or the other starter Pokemon. And she will be giving you the required uh, item, like you know, a Mystic Water or a what was it called, a, a Miracle Seed. Now, if you talk to this guy, Mimic, huh? I'll let you use the last move in a, or it'll, it'll let you use the last move on an opponent used uh, during battle. Because what it maybe because it likes to do uh, to learn to copy other uh, Pokemon. Okay, well, I didn't really read that correctly, but it's whatever. Have you visited the art museum? Yes, I did. Okay, again, I'm trying to look for this gift right here, guys. Um, how about here? It is here somewhere. Where are you? We can surf here. Huh. Yeah, we are just taking a small visit of this whole place right here. And, uh, yeah, we need Waterfall for that. How about talk to this guy? How about the Corway's Town's Famous Fresh Water for a 300 a bottle? Which is good. But there's a big old booty. And, uh, yes, we're going to get an Orenberry. And uh, we're still trying to look for that, that one item. And it should be here somewhere. Grab this. Found ourselves a Max Potion. And, uh, well, let's see. I don't know if there's anything else right here. Holy buckets. Okay, so let's go into this hotel. See if we can find Mr. O Powers and all that stuff. Find something. And give you a pokey quiz. What is, what is little clauncher shoot? Eternal gas. Uh, rock? Damn it. Okay, try it again. Clauncher, water. Okay, so it does shoot water. And we get ourselves a TM55 Scald. A very good water type move that will actually, uh, uh, what was it, burn a Pokemon. And I've heard that a thousand years ago, a Kalos region was mostly forest. Huh. You don't say. About this person. I hear there is a waterfall that flows backwards somewhere in the world. I really want to see that. When I say waterfall, what's the first thing that comes to mind? It's crazy how you get so many different answers to, uh, to, uh, to a question. Seriously. Try asking your friends. Huh. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's see. Uh, how about this person? Uh, first, I think I'll head over to Santa Luna. Never mind. I think we already got the rare candy. I think the rare candy was the, 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 the gift or something. Now, this lady right here will be giving us a relaxed ribbon. And, uh, well, I guess it's because we're relaxed and all that stuff. So... Here's Mr. O Powers, and I'm going to be pressing the B button because I don't want him to explain everything. So, here we go. We're getting our bonding time, and this guy will give us stealth power level 1. And, uh, let's see. That decreases the chances of Pokemon encountering wild Pokemon. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I, I... I don't use the O Powers at all, guys. And I haven't even checked it on YouTube, so it's like... Okay, well, whatever. It is what it is, probably. I don't know. Anywho, I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. I I don't think we're going to... I think we've already found the gift. It's just, you know, we're being too dumb about it. So, anywho, thank you guys again for watching. I'll be back in the next episode as we go into, uh, into the cave nearby this place. And uh, hopefully we'll see an evolution. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.